this video we will talk about the coordinate system and how to move the object okay so firstly if we if we talk about the coordinate system then one thing is very important to know if you can see on the right hand side this coordinate system showing over here is actually present somewhere in the middle of this over here if you see it's red color it's representing x axis then this is blue color representing z axis then this is green color representing y axis okay so these are of three axis present as the world coordinate this is called world cloud coordinate system okay now whenever i add any shape it will be going on the center point means zero zero coordinate the world coordinate system okay now there is option of move this move option is over here there is a mouse move option okay there are three options world parent and own frame so first one this is the world frame okay if i want to move it i can just click on this object then i can drag this pressing the left mouse button and pulling it okay now if i pull it now a good thing to look over here look this object also has a coordinate system this object also has a coordinate system this is own coordinate system own frame so this represent over here this frame and this world represent over here this world frame which is present at the center and own frame is object frame okay there is one more frame that is parent frame so this parent frame over here represents like if this is something is present inside this like this object is present inside this okay now this is the parent of this this parent frame represent that but we generally don't use this very much okay so same way now we will talk about rotation how to rotate the object after this option there is this rotate option so we have to this for enabling this options we have to click on the object now it is open now this is own frame this is world frame i will rotate about world frame about z axis means this is the z axis this is z axis and i am rotating about this axis okay so when i click on this keyboard and i rotate it about x axis now you can see it's rotating about x axis okay from here you can manually set the parameters of orientation and rotation its world frame parent frame and own frame okay now if you see its own frame x axis look if i go on its own frame now this is the x axis from world frame x axis is over here this is the x axis but on its own frame x axis is over here so when i rotate it in own frame now you will see it is rotated about this frame okay and when i rotate it about world frame then it will rotate about this this means this side now look it is rotating about this so now i think you understood what is the different of the frame and one more thing to notice this is the position when you are using a mouse there is also option of this one you can make it more accurate by 0.01 moment it will move little bit smooth little bit same way you can change the option or you can keep it at default same way there are option of position so over here you can put the position value in parent frame world frame translation you can translate the value 
if you want to translate one then put one it will translate by one then there is position scale these are by name you can understand what this mean and how to do that okay one more thing to notice over here for that i will add one more object i have added a cylinder now i will rotate translate it so this thing that i am going to tell you right now it's going to be used a lot okay so if i want this object to be over here this object to be over here so what I will do will first press shift and we will click on this cylinder then we will go on this object and I want this object I want cylinder to be on keyboard so first I selected this then go on position then I will select this keyboard I want this cylinder to reach to keyboard now there is option called apply to the section when I apply this this cylinder came over here so this is the easy way to move something to other object position okay same way we can do with the orientation also i want this cuboid to cylinder to be oriented like cuboid so firstly i will select the cylinder then i press ctrl shift and select this cuboid so what will i will press shift and i will select this cuboid now i will apply this this okay now it's orientated like this if you see earlier it was red red was line was over here x axis was over here when i apply this now red axis came over here so this way this is a simple way how we do the thing okay now this much is there in the frame so i hope you understood this same concept also